In this lecture, we're going to be learning about Git Ignore. And the basic idea behind Git Ignore is that there's some things inside of your repository that you don't want necessarily synced in and put up with GitHub and you know other people might get access to that. Uh, prime examples of these are like the database that we have, those cached uh, Python files, and any sort of secret passwords or anything like we'd want to be careful with those pieces of information. So this git ignore file allows us to do that. So before we attempt to run our server or anything, we wanna get that in place uh, because when we run the server for the first time, that's what creates those cached files and database, all that stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and the first thing that we wanna do is open up our project in Atom so we can create our git ignore file. Uh, so let's open up Atom here. Okay, and we'll do file open. We'll go ahead, give a second here. We want to open up portfolio on our desktop. Great. So now we want to go ahead and make our first git ignore file. So we're going to right click portfolio and say new file. And we're going to call this a dot git ignore. Okay, so let's make sure we spell this right. Dot git. And look, I spelled it wrong. Ignore. You got to make sure you spell this exactly correct dot get ignore it and it's kind of weird that this file starts with the dot so just be aware of that but go ahead and hit enter there and then basically inside of here you can specify what files and stuff you don't want uh, to be added into your git repository so for example if we do like a star dot pyc none any file with a dot pyc at the end will not be committed into any one of our uh, into our repo. Uh, you can also specify folders like we're going to be working with a static folder here and we want to specify that say the top level static folder we don't want to see that here and we could go through and try and list these but there's a really great website that gives you sort of the defaults for your project that I think is amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Safari and the website we're looking for is gitignore.io gitignore.io so go ahead and go to that site. I think this is a great resource. Uh, let's search for Django because we're doing a Django project. We'll click on that and say create. And basically it gives us a starting point with uh, from where to work with. So we can go ahead and copy all this and let's bring it into our project here. So look, you can see they have the star.pyc, but they also got a lot of other files here like .log, .pot, any folder that says pycache, we just want to ignore that completely. Here they have local settings that you could specify to sort of keep some things secret. Also that database, you know, we'll get rid of that. I'm not a fan of this when it just says media. This means any media directory at all, it's going to exclude it. Uh, I like to have just the slash in front because we're going to have a top level media, media directory and I don't want to sync that. Um, and also we're going to have a static file. So we're going to do slash static just like that and I'm going to get rid of this stuff down below I will keep the comments up at the top in a git ignore file just kind of like with Python if you have a hash that sort of uh, you know comments that out and that's not actual code it's just a place you can write some stuff so I think it's good to keep the websites there so we can remember where it is that we got this if we ever need it again so uh, once we have this in place go ahead and save that now let's go back to the terminal and let's go ahead and move into that portfolio directory. So I'm going to say CD portfolio. Now that I'm inside, I need to initialize this as a Git repository. So I'm going to say Git in it, just like that. And there you can see it added this .git folder. If you're ever wondering about this .git folder, you can always explore it. Go ahead and see the things that are inside of there, but you should never ever touch what's inside of this folder. This is completely managed by Git. And if you start messing with things here, it's going to be bad news for your project. So try not to touch that folder. But that no, that means that we got our Git uh, repository initialized. And if we do a Git status, uh, we can see, hey, these are some new files that need to be added. So let's go ahead and add those. Git add dash capital A. And then let's do a Git commit dash M. We'll go ahead and just call this our first. And there we go. Now watch this. This is so cool now that we have our git ignore file. And you'll notice here we don't have any database files or any uh, pi cache things, nothing, right? So let's go to our terminal now and let's run this server. Um, and so again, because we're in the virtual environment, we don't have to say Python 3. We're just going to say Python manage.py and then do a run server just like this. 
And when we do this, you can see it added a whole lot to our project. It added this db.sqlite3, added this pycache stuff and all of these files inside of there. But look what happens. I'm going to close the server real quick with the control C. Look what happens if I do a git status. Nothing. All these new files and folders got added, but it's not tracked in Git anymore. And so it's basically these files can live on our own computer and we don't have to go push them up to GitHub or have other people worry about them. And they don't sort of clutter our commits at all. It's just everything is really clean right here. So Git Ignore is a great way to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and fire up uh, the server one more time and let's just make sure this is w working. It looked good, uh, but let's go to Safari here. Let's go to our 127, blah, blah, blah. And look at that, we have the Django homepage. Now, one sort of bonus thing that I'd like to share with you here is that uh, if you ever don't remember this 127.0.0.1, uh, you can also just type localhost here. Uh, localhost on any computer is essentially the exact same thing as saying 127.0.0.1. You still have to have the colon 8000, but uh, this can be a little bit easier to remember if you just, oh, localhost colon 8000 uh, to get back to your website. And um, as soon as I say that, it's not working for me. Localhost colon 8000. There we go. Uh, for some reason, it thought it was a Google search. Maybe it had like a space before it. But as you can see here, uh, this does take you to the homepage. So you can roll with either one that you want, but I thought I'd just show you that nice little pro tip. Okay, uh, so now that we have the git ignore in place, we have a lot more to cover. Let's talk about it in the next lecture.